Hi, this is Cam with Domo. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the Domo Data Center. We've made it easy to find, manage, and clean up your data. This hamburger menu will expand the navigation panel to show you the different areas of the data center, in case you're not familiar with the icons. The top ribbon is constant, no matter which part of the data center you're in. This section allows you to connect to all your different data types. And over here is where you transform your data. Over here on the left, you'll see the quick filters. You can filter your data sets by the ones you've recently run, the ones you own, or the ones that need your attention right now. You can search my data sets using keywords. And if you click on the Add Filter icon over here, you'll see several filters you can use to sort through all the data sets you have access to. If I choose Number of Cards, for example, now I can select from these custom filters. Let's say greater than 20. I'll hit Enter and look at my results. If this is information I want to see on a regular basis, I can add this filter to my favorites. I'll name my filter and click Save, and then it will show up here in my favorite filters. If I hover over it, I'll see this little gear icon that lets me rename the filter or duplicate it so I can make some changes, or I can delete it. I'll duplicate it and select that copy to make my changes. So let's say I want to only see the data sets owned by Trent. Once I add that filter, I'll come over and click on the Favorites icon again, change the name of the filter, and then update it. If you have similar names in your filters and they're kind of long like mine, just hover over the filter to see the full name. This little handle on the side lets you drag the filters and reorder them. Now there's another way to create a new favorite filter rather than just duplicating from this menu. If I click on my cards greater than 20 filter again, I can make additional changes. Let's filter on the type of data set. I have several choices here, and I can also add not. Let's exclude my data fusion data set. Now I'll come over here to the star and change the filter name to include not data fusion. Now instead of clicking update, because I don't want to change my current filter, this drop down arrow lets me save it as a new filter. So there are a couple of ways you can create new favorite filters. If I view all my data sets again, then over here on the right, I've got my sorting options. I can sort all my data sets by name, the number of cards built, the number of rows, or my last run. This can really be helpful for major domos trying to clean things up because they can look at the old data sets and see, like right here, that only one card has been created from the data set, and it's never run, so it's a good candidate for being deleted. Now let's talk about tagging. If I click on the Add Tag button here, you'll see I already have a bunch of available tags that I can choose from. So I'll choose Machine Learning and click Save, and now that tag shows up on my data set. If I click on that tag, you'll notice that now I'm filtering by that tag. So I'm only seeing the data sets that have the machine learning tag applied. If I want to see all my data sets again, I'd just close that filter. Going back to the same data set, how do I add another tag? If I click on machine learning, it will just sort. If I click on the ellipsis, that lets me add another tag. Now let's say I want to add another tag, but I don't know if it already exists. If I start typing and it shows up, I'll know that I don't need to create it. I can just select it. If you don't have any tags when you start typing, you'll see the option to create the tag. So I'll save that. Now what if I want to delete a tag? Remember, if I click on the tag, it'll just filter all my data sets. So instead, I click on the ellipsis again, then click Add Tag. But instead of adding one, I can also remove tags. Another way to add or remove tags is in the data set details. So I click on the data set, and then up here, under the name, you'll see that I can add a tag, see any tags that exist, and I can also click on either one of these to get the dialog box that lets me add tags or remove them. Another awesome feature of the data center is bulk actions. If I hover over one of my data sets, you'll see the little circle with the check mark shows up. And if I click on that, a couple of things will happen. First, you'll notice that now the selection circle shows up on all my data sets, so I can choose those one by one. I can also hold down my shift key and select everything in between, and I don't have to click on the circle. Once I'm in bulk mode, I can click anywhere on the data set to select or deselect it. 
The other thing that happens is that this Domo Blue status ribbon appears that shows me how many data sets I've selected. Let's me select all of the data sets and then lets me apply bulk actions over here on the right. So bulk actions lets me run all of my selected data sets now, change the owner of those data sets, or delete them. The other thing you can do with bulk actions is tagging. So I can create new tags and apply them to all the selected data sets, or I can add any of my available tags, or I can remove the existing tags from the selected data sets. And I can do that by clicking either here or here. Remember, you have to click in the circle to select the first data set and get into bulk mode. After that, it doesn't matter where you click on the data sets to select or deselect them. To get out of bulk mode, just click on the X to close it. Now let's click on the data flows icon. The nice thing about the data center is that all the functionality we just went over in data sets works exactly the same in data flows. You have your quick filters and favorites, the same search capabilities, all the filters and custom filters, tags, and several sorting options specific to data flows. So that about wraps it up, and we hope you enjoy the Domo Data Center.